Hey Aries, welcome to your weekly reading for January 28th through February 3rd. Um, we have a new way of doing readings. I'm going to do a weekly reading for your zodiac sign. And then instead of picking one card for love, I'm just going to pick one card for soul homework or angel message, spirit message. And then the love videos are going to be at the beginning of the month. And then mid-month, I'll do a, a mid-month update for those of you who want the love readings. So if you subscribe and hit notification, you'll, you'll get a notice in a couple of days when the February love readings are up. But let's see what's going on for Aries. For the week ahead. Let's do Monday, Tuesday for Aries. Wednesday, Thursday for Aries. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for Aries. Alrighty. And then, of course, we're going to do the one card for your message. If you're eyeing these beautiful amethyst and angelite crystals that i have there that's angelite and that's amethyst i have an announcement about that at the end of the video so stick around if you want to know more all right aries so your soul homework soul message here for the week ahead all right lovelies let's see what's going on your monday tuesday is high priestess Aries this is very powerful energy when the high priestess comes up because it has to do with the chakras really opening up and aligning it has to do with you being in your intuition your seat of power trusting yourself uh, being able to make your decisions just with an inner knowing it also has to do with coming into an intense sense of wisdom um, you might all of a sudden have a clarity or you might be beginning to have a clarity. And as you open up and, you know, other people begin seeing this change in you, people might even be asking you, like, what's going on with you, Aries? Like, you're different. You're really different. What's going on? So some of you may have Taurus in your moon sign or rising sign. And the Taurus aspect of you may be awakening because a uh, high priestess is associated with Taurus, as you see from the lovely little, um, uh, you know, high priestess tattoo here on her back. But it could also be that a lot of you Aries are really either moon sensitive or you have Leo in your chart somewhere and you're really, really kind of on this high from the blood moon eclipse energy, which is going to be hanging out for the next six months. OK, like we're going to be feeling that energy for a while. So this is really the time to strike while the iron is hot. But in the beginning of the week, a lot of you Aries are beginning to have some realizations and some epiphanies where you're really beginning to feel confidence over over yourself you know coming over yourself and just feeling like you have answers that have escaped you for a very long time and this is going to be very empowering to many of you your wednesday thursday card for the week ahead is the hanged man a lot of people don't like the hanged man when they see it coming up because they associate it with being stuck. Well, um, what people forget is that the hanged man card is a major arcana card and major arcana cards come up to indicate certain moments of destiny, like certain moments of like soul contract or certain things where the universe is kind of stepping in and taking over a situation. The High Priestess card is a major arcana card. So you're already coming into this big crossroads where you're about to have some really big period of growth. And you've got another major arcana card here. So this is back to back. This is going to be a big week for a lot of you Aries. Really big changes are about to happen or unfold. And the fact that you have the Hangman coming up is basically saying the universe is giving you a little bit of a time out because you're going through this high priestess energy you're waking up you're advancing you're growing you're ascending you're coming into this higher vibration and the universe wants you to take some time and figure out how you want to make use of this how do you want your life moving forward how do you want your life looking moving forward as you're having this awakening because a lot of the times when we awaken all of a sudden, things that we really, really wanted really badly, we don't want it anymore. Or other things become a priority or other things become important to us or how we go about things change. Sometimes we have the courage, many times we have the courage to shoot for something higher or something bigger that we wouldn't have done before. So the universe is giving you this time to like just figure out what's important to you and how you want to go about getting it. 
Okay, it's kind of like a planned timeout. It's not a timeout because you're doing something wrong or you're stuck or you're punished. Um, one thing I really love about the person who invented, I uh, invented or uh, designed, you know, or created this deck is, look, this guy's happy. He's having fun. He's just kind of swinging upside down and just kind of, you know, in that upside down view and looking at how things look from another angle and maybe some of it looks funny to him and that's the whole thing looking at things from a different angle finding the humor in the situation finding the good finding you know what seems silly to you when you look at it in a different way and so there's going to be a lot of mental replanning reorganizing reworking for many of you aries midweek your card for friday saturday and sunday is page of wands okay so page of wands is a card about some new exciting endeavor something that you are passionate about so midweek it seems like it's not going to take you a whole lot of time to figure out what you want to do and you have some idea or some spark. Now we could have had Ace of Wands or we could have had um, King of Wands or we could have had Knight of Wands um, to indicate something um, like a giant, a, a, a bigger leap forward. But Page of Wands makes me feel like you're just taking an initial step. It's like the very, very tippy tip tip of the iceberg. <laughs> I'm saying iceberg even though this is a fire card. But whatever you're doing, it's it's just it's a small step forward that's going to lead to something very big. But you're being smart about it. Like you're doing it in a way where, because Aries, you don't like to fail. You're, you're doing it in a way where it's attainable and where you're not setting yourself up for failure. You're doing it in a way where you're like, I can keep this up. I can invest this much or I can put this foot forward. I, I can do this much right now. Because sometimes you Aries can be overachievers and you can have a lot of things going on at once and you're planning and i just heard this i just heard this from spirit i heard genius transition you are planning a genius transition maybe a lot of you areas have been very unhappy for a very long time and you've been wanting to get out of a situation or you've been wanting to make some kind of change and as you're having this awakening and your intuition is picking up and you're having a time to look at things in a different way once you begin moving forward i'm hearing genius you're doing it in a genius way where some of you are even kicking yourself like why in the heck did i didn't i see this sooner why didn't i think of this sooner well it's okay it's all right you see it now you're ready for it now right and so it's happening you're moving forward i'm hearing unstoppable i'm hearing creative i'm i'm hearing passion i'm i'm hearing um joy 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 uh fair compensation fair compensation spirit has a lot to say to you aries so i think these are all areas in which a lot of you had been feeling held down or underappreciated or not valued and you're seeing a way of going about and bringing change and bringing it about quickly even you know but you're, you're taking steps in a way where you're not going to tire yourself out because maybe you can't all of a sudden up and move out of your living situation maybe you can't all of a sudden you know break up with somebody maybe you can't all of a sudden go into your job and tell your boss to you know take a hike or whatever you know like you can't do that right now maybe you need to set things up to where you can like safely transition and you're coming up with a very creative and smart way to do it many of you all right my dear so your soul card here soul homework card here is white rose of hope how beautiful is this and how confirming is this okay white rose is peace right and to me white roses is something that i associate with just um tranquility and um you know you guys are finally in that energy of hope you're in that energy of being able to see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel things are going to get better this plan is going to work this plan is going to go somewhere i'm going to be able to make the changes i've been wanting to make for a long time some of you maybe felt discouraged for a long time and now all of a sudden you're getting a second wind i'm hearing second wind okay um this is a new deck to me and I, i'm not too fam familiar with the with the messages that the creator of the deck has planned so i'm gonna pause real quick and double check the little booklet here 
Okay, my lovelies, I'm back. So basically, um, in the book, the creator is just basically saying that the white roses symbolize hope, like we said, but that this card signifies that there's going to be really exciting times ahead for you. Um, new adventures, adventures specifically, it uses the words um, adventures. So it's you're just bringing joy into your life. You're going from just that trudging along in that heavy, unhappy energy to really bringing in a lot of joy, a lot of accomplishment, uh, a lot of excitement, a lot of purpose, a lot of passion into your lives. And that's a beautiful thing, Aries. And I'm excited for you. I can't wait to hear about it um, in the comments. And I want to come to the announcement now. This is an angelite stone. Okay, angelite. And this is amethyst. So, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having a crystal of the month club where every single month you get a crystal mailed to you and you get a video personalized message, a message for the month from me to you, my face on camera talking to your beautiful face. And so I'm going to have uh, an announcement on how to sign up and it's going to be affordable, guys. I'm going to try to keep the cost as low as possible because I want to get the crystals to everybody. I'm going to personally charge um, the crystals with energy. So because this is the first month, this is what we're doing. Angelite is a great stone and I'll explain um, when I do the announcement more about what the metaphysical properties are. And then Amethyst, Aquarius, we're in the season of Aquarius. Amethyst is the um, birthstone for Aquarius. And I thought it would be fun since my name is Amethyst Angelite. Uh, the stone for the month would be Angelite. And the free gift, you'd get two stones instead of one, would be the Amethyst. So you would get Amethyst and Angelite um, for the first month of the February um, release here of uh, the crystal of the month club along with a personalized message from me so i'm gonna announce that coming up um on social media so keep an eye out for that i'll have it announced on uh on my social media for those of you who are interested in doing that thank you so much for watching guys have a great week